Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we have got a squad build of you guys and it's an absolutely amazing team in the 4-3-3 formation and it is the 4th variant. So we've got a bit of a gold and silver mix for around about 150,000 coins and I didn't expect this to be that good because the defence is pretty much all silver. In fact, it is all silver and I thought it was going to be kind of average and it's so, so good. Honestly, it is absolutely phenomenal really really recommend it and i'll talk a little bit more once we get into some gameplay but before we get started if you're looking for a place to get some coins check the link in the description for the fifa shop.co.uk a really awesome website and if you use the code toby10 you get a discount off every single one of your orders when you're at the checkout screen and like i said in the previous video they're doing a big competition so check out the website and you can find out more details but like i said this team is actually so good and the defense we have two absolute monsters from Genk. So Koulibaly, six foot five, and Mboji, I think, was six foot four. But Koulibaly is, he's a tank. He's an absolute brute, and he's so good in the air. Like, with this team, aerial threats don't actually exist because they're not threats. They're not threats in any way, shape, or form. Even though your left back and the right back are fairly shorter compared to the center back that is, it's not a problem at all. It doesn't matter whatsoever because we've got some other defenders in here that are actually really, really tall as well. And it's just, it's so good. It really is. The left back and right back are actually really quick, especially Van Anholt, really crazy quick. And then we have got Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum's amazing. I haven't used him yet in this game. I don't think anyway. I forgot how good he is. That 67 passing is absolute rubbish. He set up some insane goals and they were so good with the passes like it was it was something that i couldn't ask any more for it was crazy good his passing we've also got rooney at center attacking mid one of my favorite sort of playmaking players if that makes any sense he's just when you put him in team you really feel like the team completely changes and he really makes things happen i've had teams before if you remember that feeding the Cena series i was doing really bad until i got rooney i think it was and then he just completely changed the game for me and it was awesome. Then we have Fellaini, six foot four, medium, medium work place. He's gonna be kind of our more defensive CM. So we've got Wynjaldum, who's gonna be attacking like crazy. And then we've got Fellaini on the other side, doing his job and defending like an absolute monster. And that is what he's good at. He's so, so good at defending. Then at right wing, we have got Morales. And I didn't think he was gonna be that good. I put him in because Fellaini needed another link and I was like it's gonna be all right he looks pretty solid very very good passing he's crazy quick and his finishing is actually really really solid and another point as well his high attacking work rate you'll see in one of the clips it's really really helpful and it's actually a joy to play with then we have got Memphis to pay I've used him once before and he was sublime he was really really interesting to have in a team so I want to use him again and he wasn't as good as before, but he did get a lot of assists. I think in the six games I played, he actually got five assists, which is really solid for a left wing. Didn't get many goals. I think he got one or two. But then we have got Van Persie. And yes, he is pretty much the entire cost of the team. But when you have an attack this deadly, you pretty much can't lose. I don't think I actually conceded a goal because my attack was so solid. It just made for a really solid defense because... The opponent didn't really have a chance to score, and it was it was amazing. It's it's crazy. You come up against a lot of silver and gold teams like you have as well, so it's a pretty fair matchup. I think I came up against some full silver teams as well, but I also came up against some full gold teams. So it gives a really interesting opponent to you when you're match made, and it just works. It really, really works, and I didn't think it was going to be this good, but Van Persie is phenomenal. He is such a good finisher. That's not even the best example because he didn't actually score, but... He gets into some great positions, and this, oh my god, I didn't even think to shoot, but I did. Obviously, it's pretty bad keeping, but still a nice little finish there. Admittedly, I was abusing this guy's keeper in this game. I'm not even going to lie, because it was a silver keeper. I think, I think it was one of the Pro League keepers that's fairly short. I could be completely wrong, I can't remember at all, but I did kind of abuse it a little bit, because I saw it in the... A position like showcase screen and I was like I'm going to fire some long-range shots at this guy and see what happens this is the Morales goal I thought it was a really awesome goal simply because I didn't think he was gonna to get towards that at all and I think the best way to play this team 
is simply sort of build up until your wingers or your left back or your right back overlap and then you can do some awesome plays and either cross it in or just pass it off to one of your centre attacking mids or your striker and you're probably going to score because it's such a good team. The only reason I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10 is because sometimes the goalkeeper was really, really dodgy and almost cost me so many goals because he couldn't really keep hold of stuff. But that's not really a problem because you should be scoring far too many goals anyway with Van Persie. So with the team itself, you shouldn't have a problem with possession. You should always pretty much have the ball. And that's why I didn't concede any goals, which is actually pretty crazy because I'm not even good. I'm bad. I'm pretty bad at this game. So for me not to concede in six games is pretty crazy. So I really, really recommend this team. Give it a like if you have enjoyed the video and subscribe for some more for myself. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Have an amazing day and goodbye.